Hi there, I'm Justin Haver with Justin Haver Associates with Remax First. And today I'm going to give you a market update for what we saw here for the month of March in 2023. We'll be exploring some of the current market conditions, how they compare to the same period last year, and the impact of higher interest rates and incredibly low inventory on home buyers and sellers here in Calgary. In March of 2023, the city of Calgary saw a total of 2,433 sales, which is a significant decrease compared to the 4,091 sales recorded in March of 2022. New listings have also gone down with 3,319 this year compared to 5,492 last year. The inventory of active listings has decreased as well, sitting at 3,235 compared to 4,390 last year. The median price for properties in Calgary has dropped slightly to 485,000 from 501 in 2022. The average price has also seen a small decrease from 537,852 in 2022 to 535,692 this year. The sales to new listing ratio is currently sitting at 73.31%, which is slightly down from last year where we had 74.49%. Now let's take a quick look at the market data for the different property types in Calgary for March of 2023. Detached homes. The total sales decreased from 2,267 in 2022 to 1,000. 146 here in 2023. The median price has increased from 612,000 to 635. 519 of the properties sold in this March sold at or above list price versus 1,566 properties that sold in March of 2022 for the single family detached homes sold at or above list price. Of those properties, the average price paid above list price here in March was $19,914. And last year, that was just over $31,000. So we're obviously seeing a little bit less in what people are bidding above list price in the properties that are in competing offer scenario. Obviously the lower inventory will create more bidding wars because we do still have a very robust market out there. Now let's go to the row on townhouses. We saw total sales went down from 709 in March of 2022 to 388 here this March. The median price increased from 351,400 to 380,000. So if you bought your townhouse last year, you're clearly building some equity just from last year alone. 211 of the properties that sold this year sold at or above list price versus 468 last year. Now the average paid above list price this March was 10,433 versus almost 15,000 in March of 2022. Now let's look at the semi-detached homes. Total sales decreased from 345 in 2022 to 217 here in 2023 and a median price increased from 515,000 to 550,000. So clearly, you know, the prices are going up in this segment as well, which is, again, if you bought last year, I'm sure you are smiling because you again, build some equity. 101 properties in this segment sold at or above list price versus 195 in March of 2022. And the average paid above list price was 13,786 versus just over 20,000 last year. Now let's go to the apartments. This is where we saw total sales decrease from 770 in March of 2022 to 682 here this March. Slight drop, however, the median price has increased from 259,000 to 268,000. Now, 228 sales this March sold at or above list price, whereas last year, there was only 208 properties in this segment in March that sold at or above list price. Now, the average that people paid above list price this March was $5,100 versus almost 6,000 last year. So. We're seeing in all segments, if you are in a competing offer scenario, people are not willing to go as far above the list price when they're bidding on these properties. And that obviously could mean that, you know, people are a little more reserved. They learned from last year. And at the same time, we do know that the higher interest rate environment has had an impact on the buying power of the consumer and how much that they can qualify for as well. Now let's talk about the higher interest rates and the low inventory affecting the Calgary real estate market. 
Higher interest rates can make it more challenging for home buyers to secure their financing and causing some delay in their purchasing plans. This in turn will lead to fewer transactions in the market. Additionally, the low inventory of available properties is creating a challenge for potential home sellers. Many are hesitant to list their home due to the difficulty in finding new homes to move into. So again, low inventory can add and fuel more low inventory because again, put yourself in the shoes of a seller. If you are looking to put your house up for sale, you want to ensure that you have your next home secured. So this is where many people may choose to go secure their home they're going to buy before they put their home active on the market. Now, if you are looking to make a move this spring, please feel free to reach out to us as we can sit down and put together a strategy for you to ensure that one, you have access to off-market inventory or inventory that's coming onto the market very soon. So you can be first in line and at the same time, ensuring that we can have your house prepared and ready to go to maximize your return when you're selling your property. Make sure you visit us online at justinhaver.com or you can call us anytime at 403-217-0003. Thank you.